Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a nice cubic system. And I'm going to be presenting two methods. So we have x cubed plus 3xy squared equals 14 and y cubed plus 3x squared y equals 13. I know most of you, maybe all of you, have seen the shortcut here. Immediately you're going to say, hey, I got the answer already. Okay, great. So let's start with the first method. Now, first method involves looking at this from um, an equation standpoint, and it's a cubic equation. And what makes it cubic is that um, x is multiplied by y squared, or x squared is multiplied by y, which kind of gives us a good idea uh, for using substitution. So I'm going to replace uh, x with ky. In other words, I'm going to assume that suppose x over y can be written as a different variable, and you're going to notice that it works. There's a reason it works. You'll see why. So this implies that x equals y, k. Obviously, you don't want y to be 0. And if k is equal to 0, x is equal to 0, so on and so forth. But if k is, you know, if x and y are both here at the same time, uh, k can be something different from 0, but obviously 0, 0, is not going to be a solution, so we don't have to worry about it. If x is 0, it's not going to work. If y is 0, it's not going to work. So, they're non-zero. Great. Let's go ahead and substitute this. Replace x with yk. So, we're going to get y cubed k cubed plus 3 times yk times y squared equals 14. And we're going to get y cubed plus 3 times y squared k squared times y equals 13. Great. Let's go ahead and simplify this. Um, we can definitely multiply these two together that's going to give us y cubed and these two is also going to give us y cubed so we can basically factor out y cubed from both of these equations and that gives us k cubed plus uh, 3k and what i'd like to do is i like to divide these equations uh, so let's go ahead and take out y cubed it's going to give me 1 plus 3k squared, and this is going to equal 14 divided by 13. Now, notice that y cubed cancels out. Why? This is why, why it is a good method. Okay, it doesn't always work, obviously. For example, instead of 3x squared y, if we had 3xy, this method would not work nicely. Okay, so now we get a cubic equation from here. Let's cross multiply. That gives us 13k cubed plus. 39k equals 14 plus 42k squared. Awesome. Let's go ahead and put everything on the same side. We're going to try to solve this cubic equation. 13k cubed minus 42k squared. And then I have 39k minus 14 is equal to 0. Awesome. Okay. You know, one of the things that we always check first is the sum of the coefficients. If the sum of the coefficients is 0, then 1 is a solution. Let's go ahead and check it out. 30, 13 plus 39 is 52, but 42 plus 14 is, um, well, negative 42 plus negative 14 is negative 56, so their sum is not 0. So k equals 1 does not work. Okay. Um, looking at possible solutions, I'm going to test k equals 2. So we're going to get 13 times 2 cubed, which is 8, 42 times 2 squared, which is 4, 39 times 2 minus 14. This is going to be 104. This is going to be 168. This is going to be 78 minus 14. Now let's go ahead and add the positives. That's going to give me 182. And let's go ahead and subtract these, 182. And bingo, we got an answer. Yay. K equals 2 All right, is a solution. And what about the other solutions? This is a cubic, so it has three solutions. But guess what? Other solutions are complex. They're no good. Okay. We want real solutions. Awesome. So we found k, but how do you find x and y? Okay. Let's check it out. We know that k is equal to 2. So k is equal to x over y. So we can kind of replace k with 2, and that gives us x equals 2y. Okay, so x equals 2y. 
And one of our equations was x cubed plus 3xy squared equals 14. Now we can replace x with 2y. That's going to give us 8y cubed. And 3 times 2y times y squared is just going to give us y cubed again equals 14. This is 8y cubed, 6y cubed, 14y cubed equals 14. And y cubed equals 1 and y equals 1. Okay? Okay, great. So, and y equals 1 implies x equals 2 because x is 2 times y. But do we really have to do this? Nah, I don't think so. Take a look at this expression right here. After substituting x equals yk, we got this nice expression here. y cubed times k cubed plus 3k, right? So we can kind of use that expression. So y cubed times k cubed plus 3k is equal to 14. And we know that k is equal to 2, right? So if k is equal to 2, then this is going to be 8 plus 6, which is 14. y cubed is going to be 1, and y is going to be 1, so on and so forth. Awesome. Let's go ahead and talk about the second method now. All right, great. Second method is very different, and it's actually very nice. And I'm pretty sure... Most of you went with the second method. So here's how the second method works. We're going to be adding these two equations. Y, you see why? So when we add these two equations, we get the following. X cubed plus 3X squared Y plus 3XY squared plus Y cubed equals 27. And the left-hand side just happens to be x plus y to the third power. Yay, awesome. Now, if you cube root both sides, you get x plus y is equal to 3. And from here, you can do whatever you want. Like, you can replace x with 3 minus y or y with 3 minus x in one of these equations, and you'll get the answer. Let's go ahead and do the first one. Let's replace x with 3 minus y. So we get 3 minus y cubed from the first equation, you know. And 3 minus y cubed plus 3 times 3 minus y multiply by y squared equals 14. And guess what? This is going to give us a cubic, right? So if you do this, uh, we're going to have to cube this. Or we can actually pull out a 3 minus y. And then 3 minus y squared, we can do that as, I just didn't want to cube that. 9 minus 6y plus y squared. And then plus 3y squared is equal to 14. And then this is going to give us y squared, 4y squared, minus 6y plus 9 is equal to 14. And here we can go ahead and distribute 12y squared minus 18y plus 27 minus 4y cubed plus 6y squared minus 9y equals 14. And this is going to give us something nice, hopefully. But this is a negative, so let's put everything on the right-hand side. Positive 4y cubed. Uh, from here, I'm getting 18y squared, but that's going to become negative 18y squared. Uh, this is going to become negative 27, so it's going to be plus 27y, and then minus 13 equals 0. And from here, what should I be getting? Well, I should be getting y equals 1, and we do, because look at the sum of the coefficients of this cubic, you get 0. So y equals 1, and... By substitution or using this formula, x is 3 minus y, x becomes 2. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.